I knew Lightyear was not going to be anything like Toy Story, but I watched it with the hope that it might have the same kind of humour. So I kind of have to judge this film in two ways. The first is as it's intended. The second is for people like me who watched it because we're Toy Story fans and we're curious about Buzz Lightyear. Honestly, I didn't love it. I'm not the biggest sci-fi fan in general, so I knew that it may not appeal to me completely, but as I said, I was hoping it would it would still retain some of the style of humour and magic that we get with Buzz Lightyear in the Toy Story films, but I feel like the character, although similar enough that it feels like the same individual, he does not have the same kind of outlook and attitudes and things, which you know, makes perfect sense because it's a different stage in his life, a different stage in his journey. I'm not the biggest fan of the film, but I'm a, I'm willing to admit that it will appeal to other people more than me. I'm not 100% the target audience, but as a Disney fan, as a Toy Story fan, I gave it a watch. There were bits that I liked. There are things that I certainly identified as being worthy of praise. But for me, it didn't really fully capture my imagination or my attention. I'd love to know kind of where you stand with that as well. If you watched it, why you watched it? Were you a fan of Toy Story? Are you a big sci-fi fan? Do let me know where you're coming from. This was released this year, of course, 2022. It's on Disney Plus. And this is basically um, Space Ranger Buzz Lightyear's time... In a, in a space mission that, I'm going to try and explain this in a, in a very non-technical way. Basically, he goes into space and when he is in space, minutes pass for him. But on, back on, um, when he goes back home, he realises many years have passed. And things start to go pretty wrong pretty quickly for his mission. But Buzz being Buzz, he's pretty determined to complete it. And I like that aspect. I like the fact that Buzz, although he doesn't necessarily have the same style of humour um, that we get with Toy Story. I don't think his lines are as dry or as witty or as um, incidentally funny. He is still the same person. He is very recognisable as Buzz Lightyear, more in terms of his behaviour than his appearance. I mean, obviously he looks like Buzz Lightyear, but there's something about the shape of his face that doesn't sit right with me, and I can't work out what it is. But there's something about the shape of his head that feels a little bit off. I don't know if it's the size of his chin or the size of the like his forehead. If you feel the same way and can work out what it is, please let me know. But I'm not 100% satisfied with the way his face is animated. It just doesn't feel like Buzz Lightyear. But in terms of the actual animation quality for the rest of it, it is obviously beautiful, very sharp, very... You know, great special effects, gorgeous to look at in certain places. The cat, um, I absolutely love. Um, socks, absolutely brilliant. Love the design, love the attitude. So that aspect of it, I thought, was pretty decent. Visually, it is quite compelling. But the narrative just wasn't enough to keep me interested all the way through. And again, that is probably because I'm not the biggest sci-fi fan. And I'm perfectly willing to admit that but as I said I watched it with the hope that it would still speak to Toy Story fans and there would still be a little glimmer of that style of comedy and that style of warmth but I feel like this is just completely separate to Toy, to Toy, to Toy Story which is fine because at no point did they ever really market it as being you know a prequel to Toy Story or anything it's not really marketed in the same way or indeed to the same audience really so that's not a fault of the film, that's just something that's worth bearing in mind if you want to watch it for the reasons that I did. It's not terrible. I think, you know, the animation quality is really good, the voice acting is really good, Chris Evans' voice is Buzz Lightyear here, which is absolutely fine. Um, I did like seeing the characters all wearing very similar outfits to Buzz. It's just a little bit, there's something about that that's quite peculiar, but it works really well. Socks as a character, um, I did adore. And, you know, the soundtrack was fine. There was nothing about it that stood out for me as being specifically not good. And I think that's the main thing I've taken away from this. There's nothing about this that is bad. But it depends on what you're looking for. It's directed by Angus McLean. Um, great voice cast, as I said, uh, with Chris Evans there. The animation is very good. The narrative flows well. The pacing is good. 
I just didn't find it. I feel like it's trying to be funny and it never really hit the mark for me. But there are more heartfelt kind of sentimental moments that were a bit more effective. So it is a bit of a roller coaster, but I think other people are going to enjoy it a lot more than I did. Lightyear is not my favourite film this year. I might not ever watch it again. But then again, if somebody made me sit down and watch it with them, I wouldn't hate it. It's not terrible. There are some reasonable things in this one. If you've seen it, do let me know what you think. I do think it depends on what you're looking for.